Rabbi Nachman speaks about the greatness of simplicity as the key for coming to the Torah, believe it or not. That simplicity is needed in order to be able to fulfill the Torah. It's a whole discourse in Likutei Moran, lesson number 78, part 2. And Rav Nossin, in his work, Likutei Halachot, Beit HaKneset Halacha He, he develops this lesson in an unbelievable perspective. And just the idea is, again, that serving Hashem with simplicity is meaning when you're doing something out of faith and not out of just intellectual uh, pursuit. For example, when learning Torah, the mitzvah of Torah study is something which is very attractive because it involves the intellect. It's intellectually challenging and it's also, also, also a mitzvah. Fine. But there's the actual mitzvah performance that when doing it, a person must put aside everything, all the intellectual vigor and arousal, and that's when the emuna, the faith, which is more located in the heart as in the brain, takes precedence, takes place, that I'm doing mitzvah performance out of emuna, as opposed to out of the intellect. Why is that important? Because when a person, God forbid, is faced with challenges, and his intellect is not there in doing the mitzvah, if now the whole drive is from the intellect, then God forbid he will easily drop it. As opposed to the person who with total simplicity, with no brain, no mind, he does the mitzvot out of emuna. If he gets an intellect, uh, intellectual arousal, fine and dandy, fine and good. If not, not, but he continues doing the mitzvah. This Rabbi Nachman teaches is fundamental in coming closer to Hashem, is fundamental in receiving higher and deeper perceptions of the Torah. Your simplicity in simple devotions, such as singing at the Shabbat table, putting on tefillin of simplicity, doing the mitzvot, eating on Shabbat, giving tzedakah, when done with simple emunah, the, the meaning, a translation of simplicity is, in other words, with faith, simple, honest, sincere faith, this enables you afterwards to merit revelations of Torah hidden in what you're doing. And Rav Nossin beautifully sums this up in the language of the Mishnah and the Gemara and Rosh Hashanah when explaining the presentation of the shofar blasts on Rosh Hashanah. It says like this, Pshuta lefanea, trua, upshuta leacharea. That when the main shofar blast is called the trua, there's also tkia and the shvarim, but the main Blast of the true of the shofar is called the trua, tav resh, uh, vav ayin he trua, and the wording of the Mishnah is that first before every trua you have to have what's called the tkia. It's called in the language of the Mishnah pshuta. Tkia is a simple sound, ah, uh, and then trua. There's a machloket if it's ah uh, ah uh, 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 the whole thing that it's brought down in the Gemara. That's why we do tashat tarat. Tashrat, we have all these types, but in any of them, there's always the tkia, which is called pshuta uh, before, and then the actual shofar blast, which is called the trua, which is the actual mitzvah, the main mitzvah, and then afterwards followed by again pshuta. But the wording of the Mishnah is pshuta lefanea, upshut trua, upshuta lacharea. You do first a simple sound, the tkia before, and then the trua, whatever it is. Shvarim Tkiya, Shvarim Trua, etc. And then Pshuta Lacharya. So Vnosin explains like this Trua, which is the shofar blast that was present when the Jews received the Torah, showing that in this shofar blast called the Trua is hinted to the Torah itself. Like the Zora says that Trua has the letters Torah, Ain, Torah, and the 70 faces of the Torah. So the Trua represents the Torah. The idea is, Rav Nosan says, when you want to receive the Torah, you have to have what's called Pshuta Lefanea, Upshuta Lecharea. You must conduct yourself with simplicity before getting a revelation of the Torah, and after getting the revelation of the Torah, not to get stuck and caught up with the intellectual pursuit, rather to again willingly throw yourself 
and to simple devotion even after receiving the Torah. And that's the idea of pshuta before the Torah, which is the Torah, and pshuta afterwards. That the Jew's goal is always to try to connect to serve Hashem with simplicity, because that's about, about bottom line what Hashem wants in the end. Hashem wants us to serve Him with our heart. And the heart means the place of emotion, which is connected to mainly the the the, the attitude of emuna, and that is what's needed to receive the Torah. And and after that, you enhance the Torah, your emuna and your simplicity also becomes enhanced. But the thing is, you must continue to conduct yourself even afterwards in a simplistic, straightforward, emuna-based attitude in order to receive higher, true revelations of the Torah.